while you are out shopping, remember to thank a truck driver. The trucking industry moves more than 70% of the nation's freight every year. And right now they are facing a major shortage that impacts you right now. We spoke to three truck drivers at the beginning of the pandemic. More than a year later, Christy Diaz is checking back in. In April of 2020, I spoke to drivers Steph, Danita, and Barbara. A year and a half later, two of them are no longer driving. Barbara was laid off, and Danita went into health care during the pandemic. But Steph, as they say, is still trucking. So this must be one of the rare days you're at home. Yeah, very rare lately. Steph drives heavy haul. In fact, he just transported a car wash to Lawrenceville. He says the past year has been rough for a lot of reasons. The driver is waiting for hours at a port. We have a 14 hour day we have to work with. So if you're at the port and you're spending six hours waiting for a chassis, well, uh, you only have so many driving hours left. And you're not going to make a deadline if you had one. His colleague Corey Parker recently had to wait 22 hours for a poultry pickup. Yeah, that was fun. That was, uh, they didn't have any kind of facilities for restroom there and instead of waiting for 22 hours. So what do you do? Uh, bottles. <laughs> no restrooms, no parking. Those are problems they run into often, but the federal vaccine mandate has created a new one. A lot of truck drivers are not vaccinated. And a lot of the big grocery stores, uh, packaging plants won't let drivers, unvaccinated drivers go in there. According to the American Trucking Association, the trucking industry is short 80,000 drivers. Without action, that number is expected to double by year 2030. That means nearly a million new drivers will need to be trained and hired to keep pace with increasing consumer demand. But finding a driver is only half the battle. The trouble is keeping them. If you look at the large employers of truck drivers, the annual rate of turnover is 90%. That tells us that there's something deeper going on than any short-term fix is going to address. Earlier this week, Governor Kemp met with leaders from the trucking industry to talk about solutions, like lowering the age to get a commercial driver's license, removing unnecessary taxes, and suspending the federal vaccine mandate. Truck drivers say something's got to give. So do you think this driver retention issue is going to get worse before it gets better? Yes, I really do. I mean, you can put all the bonuses out there you want, but if you don't have a certain mindset of a driver out there to do it, it's just useless. It, 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 the economy dies when trucks stop running. Chrissy, we usually just think about, okay, they're tired, they drive long hours, they have time away from their families. We know those are the challenges, but you really uncovered a lot more here. But there is another bigger challenge that they're facing they told you about. Man, I spoke to several drivers, many who didn't even want to go on camera, so we just spoke over the phone, and every single one of them said their biggest challenge every day is disrespectful and dangerous drivers on the road. They are trying not to kill people every day, and people swerving in and out of them doesn't help that stress. So next time you're on the road, maybe wave at them instead of cut them off and give them plenty of room to do their job. I always love when they, you know, they pull it for the kids. Yeah, yeah, you know, that's usually something. They take their jobs very seriously, and I think that's one of the joys. Yeah, Christy, all right, thank you. Awesome story. It's something we can all do to make a difference for those truckers. Good story.